Thank you. No, okay. Let's go step by step. This should be a really quick one. So first you birth objects. For now, let's choose only the sphere. So I can turn off the sphere here. And this is a type flow. Let's put yellow. Just visualize better. Now you put a Voronoi. And fracture it. Don't need to be very much. Then we add a spread. And also just a little bit. And now we add a mesh. And it's very important to uncheck render only. Now we go create a new flow and birth intersection. And we choose type flow one. And it's very important to check include self intersection. In display, we choose sprites. Let's put a different color so we can visualize. And the trick here to get all the intersection fill is to you can go increase the density or lower the threshold but you see that's not filling the crack here so the idea is to go to type flow one and use push and just a little bit to make a self intersection and then just update here if you get some gaps like that you just play with the threshold or also with the push Once you get this as you want, you go to VDB, birth VDB, particles to STF, include this closed particle. Let's choose a different color. And now you can play with the settings. You can lower this to get a more smooth. And then also a filter. With the filter you can reduce. Like erode. You have erosion. Just not very much. Hide the display. You can add another filter to smooth even more or give it different looks. Just add all the objects. Now you apply your favorite materials, your favorite renders. You can change the Voronoi density. You can even get some crazy results like that by accident or intentional now that you know. Just hide the flow one and then you get this kind of shape, like a foam. To make this as an animation, I set Voronoi fracture to frame and I put every four frame. And in type flow 2, I set the particles to continuous and also the filters. As well, the birth intersection before was 0, 0, now it goes 0 to 100. Now you have it. Thank you. See you next one.